Where's my... Oh, there we go. All right. Nice, nice. <clears throat> What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, brother? All right, let me see. So... Okay, so Zoom session. Okay, so where are we gonna? Okay, so where are we gonna put? Uh, okay, hey, so we can put on um. I was falling in pain. It's two. Uh, but that one and a half is just too low for me. I would play that two. I wouldn't okay, go so over two. Instead of, if you see us, it's first 100 million. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So let's so let's really systemize this stuff in. All right. So let's use the tools that we have. So hedge fund notes, Zoom sessions, channel owners. Um, so where are we going to put, okay, the, the new thing daily that we did, the, that we're doing, or the, the thing that we're sticking to, or something different? Where are we gonna write that at? Some we can do something we uh, we want to change or something that we uh, that we applied, you know, differently. Okay, so where where, where do we put that at? Six and five. So we want um, accountability. Um. Okay. So right here. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Three pointer attempts. Uh, so I do like the over one and a half. So we got four. Okay, so, and then what about the new ideas? My favorite over 22. Um, uh, I got a weave on. Look at, no, I'm just kidding. You know, the tap. <laughs> My bad. Go ahead. Where, where, where do we put the, <clears throat> the new ideas, Rob? So, one half, three quarters, mate. And then Jared Tech starts once again. Once you're done, just almost done putting that in number four. It's because he can't keep his damn hands to himself. So, we're going to put him in number four. It goes for four plates. Uh, where, where, hedge fund notes? Grizzly game. Uh, I will link the video for the Boston one. Should we put everything here? I mean, yeah, we can. So like that, we can simpl simplify it. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it right now. So I, here, I'm put mine. Esteban. It's, and then so so I can clarify in regards to like ideas. It's it would be just in general, just with like anything in like what what we're doing in life. You know, it doesn't only have to consist of just of like our craft, but just in general. You know. Let's say if yeah. like, like, all right, dude, I'm fucking overeating too much, you know? And then, oh, wait, yeah. Robert, right? right? So certain things like that, just in general, that's what okay. I'm talking about. Okay, so, 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 so other ideas that don't have to. Yeah, so we, we, we can like spark our mind a little bit more and like, because obviously, yes, we're in tune with ourselves, but we need to be in tune together, you know, where we can spark more ideas. You know, get a little bit more craftier. Okay, so look at okay. I didn't mind. So Esteban, bigger position. I'm doing only 20k and above position sizing, and 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 I'm and uh, focusing on no overeating because I do overeat. Overeat. Okay, got you. Yeah, I only eat over. I would say like if like dude like for me I do it over like under like I'm only on the weekend. Like I'll do like one meal or two meals a day. And then on the weekend, that's when I'll fuck around a little bit more. And it's not even, and it's just like, like dirty, but it's not like overdoing it either. You know? Yeah. Do you feel like you just snack a lot or what? Me? Yeah. I snack a lot. So like what I do is like, so I'll give you an example. Um, like today, uh, so what I, okay. So no eating and then, and then eating. So, um, this is what I do. Uh, I eat a banana and an apple, right? In the morning? Yeah. I eat a banana, apple, and then I make a sandwich. Really bomb, bro. Really bomb. Um, because, like, what I do is I get barbecue sauce, right? And, like, I'll toast my, I'll toast the bread. Uh, just like how you guys toast your buns. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, uh, I felt that coming, bro. I felt that coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll toast it. And then, like, I'll, I'll cut, I'll make cuts in the bread. And then I'll smear the, the barbecue sauce. So, like, it. It's in the bread. It's so bomb, dude. It's probably it's probably because you're intaking more carbs and protein, no? I don't know. It could be, bro. Like, I mean, I'm eating. Okay, so this is what yeah, I because because from like um from 
from I'm, I'm sure you know right about this you know how we used to eat a shit ton of protein and it would keep us good for a while back then yeah. we were like super ripped remember yeah. we would go get fucking like a thing of turkey at ralph's right yeah and we'll just fucking eat the shit out of it and then we'll be cool because we had a certain amount of protein that it would just get you chilled out because mm-hmm. that obviously like all the bread turns into sugar so like you're gonna crave more shit you know compared that's to that's like, true like, higher protein, carbs you you get more full and satisfied i would say yeah because if i eat fucking like anything like a sandwich or something mm-hmm. i'm craving other shit too bro yeah yeah same well, here this bro. Is, this, I, i'll keep this on this is one thing that i that i i noticed too is that depends what you eat like if you eat something that's nutritional and that has high nutrition like that's natural like for example some uh some fruits and you know organic bread or no well, just fruits and solid things like 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 oatmeal that, that will keep you full uh will give you will keep you full faster it, it's not going to trick your body thinking that you're still hungry you know because if you snack on like like gusgueras you know like little little snacks that you don't need or like like shit that doesn't obviously benefit you at all then you're gonna be hungry all the time you know and you're gonna be stacking up your calories and you're gonna gain weight That's yeah because like think. right now well, right now, guys, I'm overeating because I have nothing else to do and I'm in my room. That's really well, so, yeah, yeah, hell like, yeah. Is so, like, what, like, right now, like, watch, bro. I, right, uh, so, so it's funny that you say, because watch the guy, yeah, that's what happens to me most of the time. I mean, I don't overeat, I just, but I just get weekends when I'm at home. What is that? It's oatmeal? Like oatmeal. So, I, so it's this, so I eat a banana, apple, a sandwich. And then small, and then small amount of oatmeal with some peanut butter, and then I'm fucking full. But then what happens? Oh, that's bomb. I'm full. No, no, trust me, bro. I'm full. Yeah, I'll be fucking full, bro. But like, what happens is like, I'm done with the trading. I'm done learning and everything. And then I'll be done. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. You're bored. Awesome. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll get bored, and then I'll be like, damn it, because I'll be, I'll be, uh, and so then I'll start uploading videos. And then once I'm done uploading, videos, that's my, that's my shit. Once, once I'm done, I, I eat, I trade, eat, learn, post videos on my YouTube, and then that's it. Once I'm done with that. Then I'll get bored. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so then that's when the overeating. So I don't overeat because I'm hungry. I overeat because I'm just bored and I'm being a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah, so I get you. I get you. No, it makes sense. Well, you're right though. Hey bro, what, you, what you're saying is hundred percent right. Like when you, when you eat healthy food or just like, you know, like, like you said, fruits and like real healthy food, real nutritional value stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like in, in my fridge, I mean, that's okay. So this is what I have. I have cabbage, apples, bananas, meat, uh like you know like ham and turkey and then bread so that's and then i have peanut butter yes i don't have like anything anything bad which which i already i know that would kill me if i had something bad like you know i was thinking about chips or whatever yeah yeah i I was thinking about getting snacks and i already know that would kill me because like and i also have i have cottage cheese i just got actually just just got that yesterday that was bomb yeah you should do some cottage cheese with some like honey um you can throw some like strawberries in there you can throw some bananas in there um you can throw throw some some bananas in there for sure oatmeal you can throw oatmeal flakes on top of it too i I didn't think about that yeah bro that's just fire yeah bananas oatmeal flakes any fruits in there berries whatever and some like honey and best snack best snack ever bro yeah that that, that sounds bomb bro that sounds really bomb (laughs) i can't do strawberries though so like i I can or berries for some reason oh you can't just you can't do berries yeah, too gay for me, Doug. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> too, uh, too free. No, yeah, dude, it's something weird, bro. But like, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I got two. I got that two percent. I got the two. I got the two percent one. Only three bucks. So, um, oh yeah, you got, you got the low the, the low fat one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just hey, bomb. Hey, you guys, and while we're doing this, can you guys write down the things? Look, I, I I put down uh oh no uh, or maybe. I need to be. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys... So what? So like, right? Can you guys write down the things? So, so I put. Um. So what I'm gonna do different, guys, is I'm I'm gonna eat after 3 p.m. It's already 1:30. So because like, I like to you know that way I can just enjoy eating because I actually like to eat like a nice amount of calories and a nice amount of calories. Like I'm gonna be eating I think 1,700 calories, 1,800, 2,000 um that keeps me like at the weight that i'm at right now and that's a lot of food no if you think about it for okay look what it is man yeah how much is a bit how much is a banana how many calories does a banana have like maybe 110 100 100 probably 
Okay, let's say 100. Okay, so let's say 100 and then Apple like 102 or no? No, probably less. Apple probably like Because they're 60. small. Yeah. So I'm at 160 and then my sandwich, two pieces of bread is 120 calories. One cheese yeah. is 60 calories. So that's 180. Probably like, probably like 300. Yeah. So, so I'm already at, let's say I'm five, I'm at, I'm at 460 calories. Let's just say 500 to keep it flat. And then the oatmeal, let's say another 200 with peanut butter, 300. So I'm at 800 calories. So I guess if I do two of those, that's 1600 calories. Um, I just need to stop. I need to make sure that I'm not, because I'll just keep on eating sandwiches because they're so long. You yeah. Know? See what I, what I also, okay. If you're going to, if you're going to overeat or you're just hungry, Make sure you choose the right stuff, you know, like munching on apple. Bro, I'm, I'm over it, yeah. Like you said, over it, yeah. Like, I'm not going to go into the hungry app, bro, because I'm telling you right now, guys, I'm not hungry, bro. Like, it's not that I'm hungry. It's because I'm a, being a fat ass. I'm overeating. But like you said, so, yeah, if, if I overeat, just stick with the healthy stuff. Yeah, or just chug some water, bro. Sometimes it's just that's, the, that's what you need. You're just dehydrated. Yeah, it could be because I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, so make sure you you make sure you drink a lot of good, good a lot of water to flush out coffee coffee you know because it's just acidic mm. and makes your piss smell like shit oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true yeah it's, so i stopped drinking coffee for that reason because i'm like i feel dehydrated and then i'm like like my piss smells like coffee and i'm like <laughs> that's funny okay so hey hey guys um somewhere on the hedge fund note so so Johnny said, what, uh, so, and let's be specific too. Okay. So bigger, so you, you have to write down what position, position sizing you're going to do. Cause for me, $20,000, um, in a, in a, in a half a percent move. Cause that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing like, like half percent moves now in a half a percent move, half percent wick is like, it ends up, I end up making, I end up making like 200 XRP, like a hundred, 200 XRP. So so, um, uh, 200 would be 5%, what is, um, 200 would be, uh, 5% of my account. Um, and then I could be done for that day. And, and then if it goes against me fast, I just fucking close that shit. Um, so that's what I'm doing different. Um, and then, uh, Rob, you said you're going to not bet, you're not going to do trades over $500. Yeah. I'm making my, I'm putting it in right now. Same. Um, I was doing like five thousand dollar positions you know one percent will give me like a good 50 60 bucks um so i'm thinking of just increasing that you know yeah that's not gonna work yeah because i tried five thousand dollar positions too bro yeah it doesn't work at all because like you have, it doesn't work bro unless unless you're gonna unless you're gonna swing them if you're gonna yeah, swing yeah. them you yeah, get a couple exactly. percentage points you can probably you can make a couple hundo on that yeah true that so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up to. I need to move it up to seven thousand five hundred, maybe ten thousand. Whatever. That's what I was. Uh, I'm thinking seven seven seven. Yeah, seven thousand five hundred. Okay, cool. Maybe you want to write that down. Uh, for yeah, sure. I'm gonna write that down right now. Seven thousand five hundred only trades five hundred thousand below, and if they make ends. And then, and then what are the other things? Because Rob, Rob, you said other ideas. So I, I, I so mine was no overeating because I, I, I don't eat because I'm hungry, bro. I eat because, like, I, I'm not even hungry, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Trust me, dude. Like, I'm. I, I hey, buy that. cigars. That suppresses your your hunger. Huh? <laughs> buy cigars. cigars. It suppresses your hunger. Oh no way. No, I swear. But see, see, but mm. what I'm thinking is, don't, don't. Don't substitute a bad habit with another bad habit, you know? Uh -huh. So, I mean, personally, you know, like if you're going to, mm -hmm. if you're going to try to take a bad habit away, don't, don't replace it with another bad habit, you know? <laughs> what do you think, Rob? You smoke some <laughs> Well, I'm not, I'm not saying on the daily, you know? No, I'm not saying on the daily, you know? Because yeah. what does tobacco lead, lead on to? Uh, nicotine, addiction, you know? What does addiction lead on to? Dependence, suppression. You depend on it um if you then you get anxiety uh frustrated i, I think it's, it's just too much it's just too much of a rabbit hole bro i wouldn't I, I wouldn't recommend it i think anxiety just comes from your own thoughts so if you can't control your thoughts then you, well then you, know, you need to meditate 
No, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's where anxiety yeah. comes from. You know, that, that comes from your own, your own thoughts. If you can't really control your thoughts, I would say. Well, I mean, yeah, but, what, but, but it can be triggered with, with, with the, uh, nicotine and tobacco abuse, you know, uh, or uh, addiction. It, it gets triggered with that. You know, it's one of the main um, side effects of well, uh, anxiety. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're overdoing it, you know, if you're overdoing it, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Think I think he's good, right? right? I mean, I, think, I don't think uh, I don't I don't know if maybe he doesn't, but no, yeah, I think for right like now, me, like me, I'll I'll uh, I don't smoke like I don't buy like cigars every day, you know, I'll buy one and it'll last me like for a whole week. I'll, I'll just <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. I'll just take a couple puffs for it and then I'm good. And it's like, and it's like, um, but for what? Think, what do you what do you, what do you do it for? What do you seek out of it? What do I, I just, honestly, I just feel like a boss. That's why I like it. Does it give you some sort of like a, I don't know, like stress reliever? Uh, no, dude. I don't even see it as stress, as a stress reliever. I just like it because I feel like a boss. Mm, okay. Yeah. I, I don't rely on it because of, of stress. I'd rather eat if that's the case. <laughs> that's just bomb, bro. I love eating, man. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather, I, love, I love I'd eating, rather eat. Okay, so what John is doing is he's helping out. He's helping out with the. Uh, he's looking at. He's helping out with. That's what he's got, right? John? He's going to look out for what we're doing yeah, and, and 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 then question it, which is good. I think because when you question it, it's, it helps you make sure that. Yeah, you know, most definitely. You know, um, and uh, but so far it looks like we haven't found a. You know, it looks it looks like we're not. It looks like uh, Rob's not in a place where it's at an addiction level. Yeah, no, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't like cigars like that. Like cigars are not that. Like they're not bomb like that. You know. Yeah, just don't make it a habit that it's going to be an addiction later, you know? Nah, fuck no. It could be, yeah, and that's it's 100% true, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like, I, I, yeah, no, I, I, yeah I, get, I get that part for sure, for sure. That way you don't yeah. have to then worry about, because then that's going to be another problem in the future for you to be like, oh, shit, now I have to get rid of this. That's true. Hey, honestly, addiction, that's- you know? Because, I mean, honestly, it could lead up to it because, I mean, it has, it does have nicotine and it has more than a, c- a, a, a cigarette. Um, and not only that, bro, but you're putting these fucking chemicals in your, your body, you know? I would say, like, a lot of the stuff that we're eating, too, or, I mean, you know what I mean? We can see it a lot of ways, too, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's just, you have to be super vigilant of, 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 of what you, you, what you intake as well, like, if it's going to do you harm or if it's going to, I mean, substance, like, yeah, we got rid of drinking and doing drugs, but, I mean, there's a reason why nicotine and tobacco is still legal and, and, and alcohol, you know, because those are the ones that obviously do more harm for people. Yeah, that's their money makers right there. And they do a lot more harm, bro. Like, you know, think about it. They do so much harm. Yeah. Um, not, not, I don't want to put you on a guilt guilt trip either, but, you know, just something to think about. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have like a, like a, I don't have like an obsessive, personality where i get addicted to things to be honest with you i'm the type of person i just i get over shit so super fast and i just move on from it yeah and then for sml for you bro like mm-hmm. if you want to avoid eating in the morning um it's it's just a matter of you training your metabolism not to not to eat until after three you do it enough times mm-hmm. you don't need anything else to kind of help you wait that long because i mean i do it all the time and i'm just and the best thing you can do, the best thing you can ever do is, is, uh, is, uh, control your hunger, bro. Like, think about it. Like we're hungry. We're so used to eating right away. So this time you're hungry, you're in control and you, 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 you're going to decide to eat till after three, mm-hmm. you know, and that builds a lot of discipline and it trains your metabolism to eat only when you're telling it to eat, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's actually a very, yeah. I'm going to stick to that. I'm, I'm going to stick to that because I know that. <laughs> Yeah, because like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to that, bro, for sure. Um, it helps you. You know, tra- you you literally train and co- you literally train and communicate with your metabolism. Uh, then that way you're in control instead of it controlling you. Because we're so used to feeling hungry, eating, feeling hungry, and, it, and it's all involved with our emotions and everything. You know. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so no, it's good. It's good. Um, what you guys want to write write it down? So. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm writing it down right now. Well, that, that one, yeah, I mean, we can talk about that. That one was for me, you know, because look. Uh, yeah, so, no, no, no. So I put that one. Check it out, guys. I put no overeating. And, oh, sorry. No overeating um, at, and eating after 3 p.m. So maybe I should put, because I wasn't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still hitting like fucking 2,000 calories 
um when i even when i when i overeat when i do the math it ends up being two thousand calories um how about you do this bro how about you for sure hit your two thousand calories only when you go work out and when you're not working when you're not working out uh maybe half of that because you can't yeah. be, you can't be intaking the same amount of calories every single day, um, even on your days out. off, because it's not it's not gonna work out. You know, you're gonna you're gonna start gaining weight. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So taper off, taper off, and then day, you know your days off, sacrifice, but taper off. But if you're gonna go work out, then reward yourself with the two thousand calories. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna put that fifteen hundred sixteen. Off days. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I could do that. Um, yeah, 2,000 calories with healthy food is a lot of fucking food. It's a lot of food, bro. And then you'll feel like you've, you, you ate, you feel your body naturally will feel full. Um, and you won't have any trouble, any digestive problems because it's all natural shit, you know? Yeah, you'll digest quick. You'll feel good. Yeah, yeah, I feel a lot better. Like now that fucking. Um, so I haven't, I haven't ate, I haven't gotten like, uh, I haven't gotten pizza in the last, uh, I don't know how long. I think it's been over a week now. Um, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, I love pizza. <laughs> Me too, bro. It's amazing. <laughs> pizza, 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 and like, like baked baked goods like cookies bro or like that's my that's my that's my that's my weakness bro yeah okay yeah, so, just like, gonna, there's, hey, so there's, you guys you guys want to okay so we talked about my stuff okay because like both like johnny you still you still haven't uh wrote on yours um, yeah i'm, I'm, I'm tapping it down okay uh so seven thousand so yours is seven thousand five hundred plus trades um which um yeah seven thousand five hundred plus trades so and then yeah, so yeah, so bigger positions than seven thousand hundred trades. Um and uh then Rob 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 got his right there. Okay, so my so Rob, what's so what's what did you say? You said so, what was your other your other your other stuff that you're gonna do? Um because you talked about you talked about cigars, but I don't know what. Scars. Uh, now I'm just gonna uh, obviously just I think oh well, yeah I'm just gonna make more uh, home meal cook but uh, more homemade cooked meals. Oh, bro, write that down. That's a must. Yeah. Cool. All right, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So once we get, gonna... I'll order food, but it's like I'll get like a burrito or a fucking or a sandwich or bulls. That's what I would do. Oh, bomb, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been so bomb. Dude. I haven't been going to pizza just because, like, I just fucking, I just haven't been wanting to feel like a, like, I just my face gets all bloated. So I'm like, eh. <laughs> That's yeah, funny, it gets dude. all, oh, that shit gets swollen, bro. It looks like I have gumballs in my fucking. Chair, bro. <laughs> god, I swear to God, that's like it goes to my face or it goes to like my fucking love handles. Oh man. Yeah, bro, fuck that. I mean, shit. Last thing you want to do is not look good, you know? <laughs> yeah. The good thing is, like, the good thing for me is, like, fucking, yeah, I've controlled my eating habits for sure. So that's why I'm able to, like, keep my fucking whole. Um, that's the best thing you can do. My bro. fatigue. Yeah, my fatigue. I'm at, like, uh, yeah, I'll eat, like, once or twice, you know? And if, if, I, if I know I'm going to eat, like, something not that, that great, then, yeah, I'll eat, like, once and then that's it. And yeah, I'll go work, and I'll work out to top it off, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Make homemade meals plus eating out. Okay. Yeah, dude. Home, Avoid home unnecessary. Home. Okay, so, okay. Of make home. Okay. Uh. So I think okay because like, avoid unnecessary distractions. Maybe we can condense. Maybe we can make it into like only one thing, right? Or what do you think? Because because that to me, avoid unnecessary distractions. It's kind of like okay, well. What distractions are those? Yeah. Yeah. So what should I, what do you mean? So no, no, yeah. I know I'm just saying like maybe like we'll just because I think what we can, I think what's best, I think is that when you choose when you do something, but it's super specific. Like, okay, so the way that I'm gonna stop overeating, guys, mm-hmm. um, uh, is by not eating 
before 3 p.m. So eating only after 3 p.m. So that's like a specific thing. I'm also going to trade bigger. I'm, I'm going to do only 20K position sizing and then above. And that's it. I'm not doing anything less. Mm -hmm. um, and then Rob, $500, $500 only. So maybe we could just stick to that, right? So yeah, it's just a five, that's what I get out of that. $500 and $500 less trades, um, which, which I don't know how much percentage, right? That would be from the account or whatever you can put the percentage or just leave it at that, $500 and less. And then what'd you put? Oh yeah, my, my, and then make home, make home meals less eating out. Um, so we uh, make more homemade meals, less eating out. I thought I was making more. Okay. Um, I guess that's pretty specific, right? Or what do you guys think? Is that specific? Mm, yeah. Okay. I think we might, I think a short position, I think a short might, might be a good idea right here, but, uh, We already retapped up this zone, but we'll see though. Okay. Um, okay. What? What? Yeah. All right. I guess. I guess we're good. Uh, I guess. Okay. So we did that. All right. So what opportunities? So now we got to talk about the opportunities. What opportunities do we have up and coming? So I'll start with mine. Um, yesterday I had two losses. I ended up doing one trade. I told Johnny this. I ended up doing a scalp up here. I won that one. It was from here, from down here to here. I got out right here. I did it with twenty thousand dollar position. Um, I made a good uh, hundred XRP real quick, and that was like you know I need to just stick to twenty k, um, and then to get in and out. Uh, <clears throat> today, to the opportunities that we have available, um, I'm thinking it's still going to move up, but uh, there's a very good short idea right now. It's not during the trading hours, but I think there's going to be volume. Um, and broke we broke this zone, and I think a good short would be here at, at where we're at right now. Um, all the way down to here. Oh, and it's, I think it's happening right now. So, oh, that looks like a very good short. Oh my God. But then there's a zone right here. Um, yeah, the market, it's kind of, I mean, it looks like it completely looks like it's going to, it's going to go down, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. But it's been doing that. It's just tripping me out. Like yeah, no, wants. but this, but no, but don't, let's, let's, let's look at price action. Look, at it broke the zone, closed beneath uh -huh. the zone, retested that already. Retested so the zone, yeah, okay. Retested zone up right here. So the next thing would be to go down to the next zone, next wick down, True. Which, which is this zone right here, but it has to break this zone. Uh, 70,000 last month. So that's why I'm Yeah. Scared. Yeah, no, it's it's a little, it, it's a, it's because if you do a short there, then it's, it ain't, it and it up. holds up on the next support. Yeah, and also right here, this this dynamic support, which is right here. Exactly. No, because Bitcoin is the same. There's the same supports and there's the same uh, trend line. Oh, okay. So. It's scary, but, it, but yeah. Because then what's kind of. Well, yeah, then I have, but then I have that bullish divergence accumulating like crazy and money wave going up on the six minute for my end, you know, so it's kind of like. Mm. I'm just kind of on the 12 minute two. Oh, mine is going down. Oh no, on 12, yeah, everything's going down. Even there's a red dot on the sixer. On the 12 minute is the red dot. Um, yeah, I think I think it's it's gonna go down. On the six minute, it's uh, money. Yeah, money flows going down. Do do, do a, a Fibonacci for you right there from the from the low to the high. Yeah. Six one eight. <laughs> so look at look out for that golden pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, mine oh, no, yeah I'm not gonna, it's, it looks juicy, hey, bro. I'm telling you, this looks like a fucking juicy short down here, bro. It really yeah. does. Because my next zones for buys are going to be these strong zones right here, from here and here. That's that's the best zones to buy. The strong zones, yeah. Yeah. So like these are strong demand zones. So, um. But anyways, okay. All right. So. so all right. So. So what? So th those are my opportunities right now. Uh. You want to, um, damn, I want to see, uh, man, hopefully. Okay. Like what if I stop sharing and you, you share it. Yeah. Let's, let's try that. Let's see that. It worked last time. Okay. Um, Wait, give me permission first though. Cause I, I doesn't have permission right now. Okay. What was it? Oh yeah. 
All right, cool. Now you're 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 good now. You can All do right, it. Cool. And Rob's after. Okay, so Okay, so what I noticed is that you know we're we're obviously descending in a in a in a falling wedge pattern here, um, okay. and it's descending exactly into like strong support areas, mm -hmm. uh, golden pocket right here, mm -hmm. uh, trend line here. Um, so it's coming into a nice support area, you know. So so what I'm kind of seeing is that we're going to be trying to trying to find support, and that's what it's doing right now. Um, so I'm looking for good buying up uh, opportunities, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking area. at um, so more local, more local, localized. Um, uh, looking obviously to buy at a golden pocket area, which is here, mm -hmm. um, and I'm kind of hoping or waiting for for this little for hold on for if it does go a little lower. Come on, a little lower here. Mm -hmm. um kind of looking for you know momentum and the money to just kind of keep going you know a little like this yeah so looking for those buying opportunities uh i was kind of seeing it earlier right now in the six minute um but then i was waiting i got saw the red the blood diamond and i was like no nah, it's still gonna go down so it's kind of still probably st stop hunting stop mm -hmm. loss hunting so i'm so just kind of waiting for, for that maybe and then if you asian session or something yeah, maybe Asian, Asian session, Asian sensation. Um, oh, see. look at that. It's shorting. Mm. Oh, or, or, or also, like, it might even go lower to the four hour and, you know, hit this right here. Yeah. And, and then create a little divergence here. And that'll be, that'll be, the, that'll be the juiciest, to be honest. <laughs> that'll be the juiciest right here. Because then you, that's falling in the wedge pattern. Uh, for sure, I'll hit. If it gives me this off the trend line, then that's a good good buy right here. Maybe a little swing buy. Um, that's gonna take days, no? It might take days, yeah. But I mean, that's yeah. that that's that's like, uh, you know, long term, a little, oh, okay. you know. And then we have short term uh, right here. See what it does. You know, what kind of price action it gives me. Um, yeah, cause yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. If it breaks this, if it breaks this level, then you know, looking into this zone over here, uh, I mean, it could take days, you know, but it could just fucking go right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, so uh, yeah. Um, oh, that was a short. Okay, so now I know. Okay, now I know. I realize that at two o'clock there is for some fucking reason there's a lot of volume at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yeah, this is the second time that a short so happened. Eleven. Huh? Eleven. That's. Is that a? Yeah, uh, no, because because tra tra okay, so trading sessions, um, I've noticed they're better. They go more off of uh, Eastern time. Yeah, they do. It's true. New York, because New York's New York is the the New York and Chicago are, are at Eastern time, and those are the biggest United States uh, uh, financial markets, biggest market movers, is in Chicago and and uh, and New York. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm trying to figure out why in 2 p.m. Because right now, look at this short. I would have I would have made a lot of money right now if I would have took it. Yeah. That. Um. So that's good. Now, now I can put it on the back of my head. All right. Fucking. That shit ended up happening. Um, yeah. No. And, and normally it does when you, when you were talking about the the trend lines. You know when it breaks those trend lines. Uh. You know we break these trend lines. We get big moves down. You know like here, broke here. Yeah. You get we get big moves down. Here it's probably gonna for sure. I'm thinking this is probably gonna take us all over here because I don't really have much uh, support here besides maybe. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Fucking. Okay. Some here. Yeah, because like I would say because like because um because uh, yeah oh yeah so yeah the, oh yeah because you can because like if you're gonna take yeah because you, if you take those long term trades your seventy five hundred dollar position could probably work out and if you let yeah. them hold you know if you let them hold. Shit, maybe you take only two or three trades a week, bro, and that's how you can get your, your money. And yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Just taking these juicy, juicy trades that ones that have like 
badass oh, wow. confirmations, you know, and just letting them play out, you know? Yeah. And catching them, catching them like, uh, like for example, if that four hour one plays, and I'm sure the 24 minute, the 12 minute, six minute are gonna give me the, uh, Divergent. the beginning of these, the beginning of these confirmations and trickle all the way up to the, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's where I can go into a nice, nice, nice trade. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that too. Out, yeah, you're gonna have to. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, that means holding positions longer. And then mm -hmm. I don't know what the position sizing. Maybe you, I don't know how long those those moves are going to be, but I don't know what the position sizing would be on those moves. But you know, maybe who knows? Maybe five thousand, or you know. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm thinking probably five thousand would be a good one. Yeah, especially for for those positions. Like I mean, you went. It would have been from here to here. One. Shoot for your daily or or um, the account growth size. Because I already, yeah, because like until we, yeah, because like what, um, okay, what, what they, what, what Crypto Face and Jason Casper, I don't think, or maybe they do, but they don't really talk too much about like position sizing and they don't really talk too much about, or maybe they do, but I don't hear them talk about position sizing. I don't hear them about. The yeah, they don't really, they don't really disclose that, that information because I think it's more of a. Yeah, no, bro. No, the, the, liability for them, you know? Yeah, it's not it's not a liability, bro. It, it's not a liability at all. It's if you can't explain and t they're teaching their trading systems, bro. But if you don't tell, if you don't, if it's the same thing as telling someone in a in a personal training, you're not telling them the reps the amount of weight. Like, That's you know, true. Yeah. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it, bro. It, it has everything to do. Like, what I'm trying, what I'm saying is that their trading styles, I think, is good for once you have a lot of capital. Once you have a lot of capital. yeah, once you have a lot of money, exactly. Once you have a lot of money, bro. You don't you don't even need to worry about it that much, you know. True, Which true. Is not, that's not going to help us. We're not, you know, right now. So, um, that's, that's it's just not. Um, I, I think that we're being we're doing a disservice because then all of a sudden, bro, then how can you forecast your profits? If you're you right, know, how are you going to forecast your profits? How are you going to know that you're going to be able to live off? How do you, how do we all know that we're going to be able to? How can we trust each other that we're going to? Oh, you're going to be performing on your part of the fund um yeah true that you know what i mean like that that's what i don't yeah um so yeah so and i'm not saying anything bad about that i'm just saying that's what we're gonna have to put in because like our strategy look at the, your strategy and everything is there but what about position sizing what if what if yeah, everything true is, yeah so uh robert uh you want to you want to record or you want to share your screen uh, we got two minutes left on this one but it's fine let you know um you want to Oh, unless you're done, right? Because I kind of want to. You know, I'm 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 done. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. My bad. I want to get with. Uh, oh, I see what Rob Rob's gonna do. But that's good. Hey, look. Yeah, I think that'll be that fits your style better, bro. You're very good with uh, better entries. Um, and, yeah. and wait, waiting and sniping those positions. Exactly. But, but then it's like, okay, what? What? Then now it's like, okay, well then, if you have that part down, then it's the most important next part is the position sizing. You know. Position sizing exactly. No, I got, I got, I got it. It's true. Yeah. Because in that way, because imagine, like, cause you already got that part down. And imagine when you get the position sizing down. And game over. It's game over because then, then yeah. you, you know what I mean? Now you got both. Now you got both parts of the, the, of the plan. Is position sizing like risking or what is it? Yeah. yeah how much money, how much money I put down on the table? Yeah. Because like that is the guys, that is actually the number is, one most important thing. Is that like the, the main thing that yeah, you kind of stress about, Johnny? Yeah, because I mean, yeah, yeah, because it's you put a lot of money down the table, and if you don't have the confidence behind it and a strategy behind it, you can fucking lose all your money, you know. Um, but my, so that's my like strategy in, that's that's like in back of your head already, kind of instilled. Yeah, and, and it, it is, bro. And I have to start, I have to start completely, completely let it go, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah. my strat my strategy is good, and my confidence is getting good. So I mean, what's next? Position sizing, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like you already your preparations already there, you know. So like, there's no yeah. point of stressing it, you know, because it, it's it's yeah. like like well, it's it's like right. from like the yeah. people that that I've learned from, right? Um, if your preparation's there, then you have nothing like to stress about, you know. Stress about, already, yeah, yeah, because you're already you're you've been doing it, you've been practicing it, so exactly there. It's like you go into a game, and let's say like, I'm doing like a sports analogy, right? You go into the playoffs. And, and 
it's one thing it's it from Kobe, right? He would say like, "Oh, do you ever get nervous?" Blah blah. Big games. He's like, "For what?" He's like, "I'm I, I prepare for this every 